They approach the 16th hole, Alex Hayes, with a commanding lead. Shut up. Over the Brit, who was favored, but now has fallen under dark waters. This really is a fucking stupid game, you know that. How the fuck do I keep letting you talk me into this shit? Do you smoke that? <coughs> All of the answers will be revealed. Oh yeah? Like what? The eternal mystery of who dresses you in the morning? Oi, who is that pillow Claudia was hanging out with the other night? Don't know. What's a pillow? There'll be silent skies with a raindrop We roll through this life just like a tumbling dime To of a kind, don't take nobody's advice Let the chips fall where they may Ain't gonna worry about the yesterday, oh We'll let the chips fall where they may Ain't gonna worry about the yesterday, oh still... Oi! Where the fuck are you going? We've still got three more rolls. What's his name? Quinn. Quinn! Hey there! Yeah! Hey buddy, that's quite a grip you got there, huh? Oh, hey, look at him! Look at him! That's smashing, mate. Terrific. Oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. Are you kidding? Hey, there are germs everywhere. That's what antibodies are for. Don't you realize you're adversely affecting your son's immune system? <laughs> you don't have kids, do you? How the fuck would you know? Sorry. He does this to everybody. Why do you make this prayer? Let's be cool. Aren't you Alex Hayes? Yeah. You are so amazing. We just love your music. Thanks. Um, Zeke here is in the uh, in the band too. I'm Ruthie, by the way. Ruthie, yeah, it's, it's really nice to meet you. Yeah, you guys, uh, you should come out to a show. That would be great. Great. Yeah. You know, it's people like you that raise serial killers. It's good. Come That's on. right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The Andy White come killer. On. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Now you see, that's what I want. What? Little bundle of misery? Financial black hole? Oh yeah, I could see how you'd want that. It is not as bad as you think. It's a whole lot bloody worse, I reckon. I don't know, I just think there's something to be said for an offspring, continuity. Hey, you can't help it, Zeke. This shit's hardwired into our brains. Nietzsche called it the profoundest instinct of life. Oh yeah. Yo, Bob. What's shaking? Hey, what's up? <sighs> hey, you want to, uh... Nope. Oh. No, I'm good. Thanks. But I am going to ace this hole if you fuckers ever get done solving world peace. Oh, yeah, no. Play through, mate. Ah, thanks. Force that dog ear to the right, though. It's a bit of a cunt. That's not too bad. Yes! Fucking nice See you guys later. Under my skin, I'm all wet. Under my skin, I'm all bloody. Under my skin, my heart lies broken. But my you guys can't come waltzing in the door 15 minutes after the fact. It's just not fucking professional, man. Alex, we've been doing this a long time and it's nothing personal. But I'm thinking of moving you guys to Sunday. Sunday? Are you out of your mind, Mitch? Sunday's like an old folks home for bands. You can't move us to Sunday. We refuse. You refuse, huh? Gentlemen, ass in gear. If it wasn't for her, you'd already be playing Sunday. So don't get smart. I get the fuck on stage. 
Wow, that's a great skirt, Claude. Thank you. Now, would you boys please get the rest of your shit and get your ass on stage? Just now. I feel cold, cool, baby, Mary. Come inside, come inside, come inside, come inside, oh, Dora. Come inside, come inside, come inside. And Tell. You've been on tour, you sly dog. That's right, I'm the king of the road. Do you need, <laughs> do you need a crown now that you're back in town? king of the road, I'm a crown. <laughs> Mitch, get on Chuck's finger. Listen, if you like what you hear, we are selling CDs. Right in the back there, you go see our beautiful manager, Claudia, and she'll take care of you. Next song we're going to do is a new tune, and I uh, actually recorded it right here in Austin. In my state-of-the-art garage facility. Thank you so much. For our Spanish-speaking audience, muchos gracias. All right. That's enough. Come on. Let's play a show for these guys, eh? God damn, you look hot tonight. Somebody's in a good mood. Fucking rock the house. <laughs> been... Have an idea. Oh, yeah, what would that be? Well, here you are, looking so very mm -hmm. sexy mm -hmm. in bed. And here I am, all charged all up right, and stop feeling. Talking. Oh. Mm. You listen to me. <laughs> 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 uh, ah. What? Fuck. What? My ball. It still hurts? Yeah. Well, let me see. Oh. Come on. No. Fine, let me feel it. All right. Hey, hey, Sorry. easy with the fingernails, Freddy. I'm not used to these acrylics. I thought they'd be fun. Oh, they're right. Do I damage anything? No, but I think something's wrong down there. Babe, you need to see a doctor. I know. Do it. Yeah. Come on. No. Yes, one time. Come on, do it. Ah! <laughs> ah! So we're going to just take a quick look-see to make sure all your pipes are in order. Wow! I always wondered what liquid nitrogen would feel like on my balls. <laughs> so, anyway, after this, we'll analyze that sample that we took earlier and figure out where we stand. Someone will be right in to clean you up. Jules, come on. We're uh, making a baby. What are you talking about? Okay, I went to the doctor and I've got this thing. Sperm count's low. It's just gonna keep getting worse, so uh, I got candles. I've got incense burning in the bedroom. I got candy. Baby, 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 slow down. What exactly did the doctor say? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just uh, balls run too hot, so the sperm can't what live. What do you mean your balls run too hot? Uh, if we want to have a child, uh, we gotta do it now. That's what they told you? Look, honey, <laughs> according to my calculations, you should be ovulating. About now, let's go. Okay, okay, you need to cool your jets because nobody is making a baby right now, all right? Let's discuss this rationally. There's gotta be some type of operation or medicine they can prescribe. No, oh, yeah, yes, you know what they can prescribe? Slicing my nuts open, all right? And some crazy ass fertility drug. Our child is not gonna come out of the chute with, with three heads. Now, honey, I'm sorry. Because I know you don't think you're ready, but uh, I got a feeling here that you're gonna be great at this. Now, uh, let's go. It's gonna be fun. Okay, okay, okay. Fun, Alex? It is not a toy. It's a human being that you'd be responsible for for the next 18 years of your life. Hey, you know, I am totally cool with that. Okay, even if I believe that, 
I'm still the one who has to carry the little creature. Nine months of throwing up and getting fat, and then let's just squeeze that watermelon-sized object out through my vagina. You cool with that too? Because I'm not. What am I supposed to do, huh? What am I supposed to do? I mean, look, my balls are like a fucking war zone. What are you doing? <laughs> look, I got sperm dying left and right. I'm not Paul McCartney. I can't conceive a child when I'm 60. Why does that mean we have to do it now? I have a job. You have a band. This is not exactly an ideal family situation. Maybe in five or ten years. Can't we free some of your sperm and save it until we're ready? <laughs> I'm ready now. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, check that out. You are not ready. You spend your days playing disc golf and getting high with Zeke. Well, maybe that's because I don't have a child. Hi. I think I would be a great dad. Maybe you would. But I am not ready to be a mom. End of story. Okay. That's fine. fine. If you change your mind, I'll be in there alone with Kenny. Great. I mean, I've only got 30 million. Of course, Doc said I can still get the job done, but I mean, I'm a guy. Shouldn't be thinking about all this biological clock bullshit, you know? Your, your clock's been ticking a long time. You just didn't know it. What the hell are you talking about? You love kids. Every time you see one, you go gaga. Alex, she's young. She's still trying to figure things out. I'm sure you guys will come up with something. Yeah, well, it better be quick. Jules will come around. Come on, there are certain trade-offs for robbing the cradle, you know. What? Oh, you're gonna laugh. No, I won't. Well, speaking of sperm, I've been thinking a lot about this kid thing myself, and I've decided I'm just gonna do it. With whom? Number 1975XJ? I don't know. They gave me this book to look through. Wait, a sperm donor? Yeah. Come on, wait, you know, I don't believe all that crap that they try to tell you about how you have to be in a certain kind of relationship to be able to have a baby or be able to afford $800 strollers, you know? My mom raised me on a waitress's salary. Who cares if I don't have a man in my hey. life? Hey, all you had to do was ask. Yeah, um, there's gonna be a rep from Global at Antone's next weekend. I think he's really interested in you guys. I know, I know, we've heard it all a thousand times before and you're not gonna get excited, but you know what? It's law of no's. Every no is one step closer to- To a yes, I know! It's just these freaking guys, you know, so they come down to the club with their head so far up their ass, the only talent they spot is shit! Hey, come on, Britney and Justin are out there selling millions of records and we're begging Mitch not to cut her Thursday night gig? Speaking of Mitch, you guys have got to start showing Coming and going and coming and going. Alex, I'm serious. I know, no, let's smooth it all over me. Like yeah, I always yeah, do. Yeah. We'll figure something out. Seven five. 
You tell him to forget it, all right? I'm your man. What, what are you talking about? It's perfect. All that stuff you were saying about not being in the right kind of relationship and love and money. I'll be the donor. This is another one of your crazy Alex ideas. Forget it. No, I'm serious. That's what you always say. Okay, look at me. I want to do this. Well, let's back up here, okay? We don't even have to have sex, right? That's great, but you're married. Exactly. And Jules fits into this scheme where? Okay, Jules is going to be like the cool aunt. You and I are the mommy and daddy. Kid, I'll just do it at your place, but I'll come home every day to take care of it. Now, it's pretty simple if you think about it. There's a few minor details need to be ironed out, but come on, it's going to be great. But Jules gave this the okay. Absolutely not. Sweetie. Don't sweetie me. It's not gonna happen. It's yours. No. More wine? We've talked about it, but we're still weighing our options. Sugar? Alex. Okay, so she's not completely on board yet. She hated it, didn't she? Prefer the term dislike intensely. You know, hate is such an ugly word. Soy creamer. No, no! No fucking way am I gonna do this unless Jules is on board. Why is someone who doesn't even go crazy over children automatically seen as a heartless bitch? I did not say I just that. don't get what it is with people and babies. Your life essentially ends. I mean, you guys are like soulmates, you know no, that? No, but you have this romanticized idea of what it's going to be like, and I don't. Come on, who better to have a kid with than your old pal Alex? Um, how about somebody who's not married to another woman? Okay, yeah, good point, good point. Aside from that, I mean, we're best friends. We already see each other every day. And you said yourself, you got all this love bouncing around inside of you. Well, I mean, don't you think I'd have a little bit more to offer a kid than some fucking number out of a book? I mean, I'm certainly a lot more helpful. And look at us. I mean, would we not have the most beautiful child ever? I mean, this is me here, come on. All right. You know I hate you, right? Absolutely. And you know that this is a ridiculous idea. Yes. But, in some weird Alex Hayes kind of way, it can work. Oh, that is my girl. <laughs> I will think about it. And the key word here is think. I will take that as a yes. But Alex, unless you get Jules on board. Is this what you really want? Why? Honey, how long have I been doing this music thing? I mean, 15 years. What do I got to show for it? I mean, this is a chance for me to be a part of something that lasts longer than a three and a half minute song. Look, but if you say no, then okay. Look, sweetheart, I just think you need to realize, all right, that I love you. You know, I mean, you are my girl, and nothing is going to change that. You look me in the eye, Mr. Alex Hayes, and tell me this isn't just another one of your things. This is something you really, really need to do. It is. Are you fucking joking? No. This is without a doubt the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. Well, everybody gets what they want. With by everybody, you mean you? Yeah. I want a kid, Jules doesn't. Claudia was already gonna have one. I'm just along for the ride. I like to think of it as a win-win-win situation. How the fuck do I win? How does the band win? We're on the eve of a possible record deal and you're knocking up the manager? Oh, yeah, the big record deal. Look, Claudia's pretty fucking amazing, but do you really think she's thought this through? Women don't think like us. You're telling them two plus two equals four, and all they hear is gibberish, like the adults in those Charlie Brown cartoons. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I don't think it is self-centered to want a family. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Global Records. We can't sign with you right now because Mr. Mum over here has pissed it all away. 
This global rep doesn't mean shit. How many times has one of these yahoos come down to the club and, and blown smoke up her ass and told us how great we are, never to be seen again? Anyone can have a baby, mate. It's really nothing special. It's a piece of piss. What are you thinking? That this is like the final missing piece of the puzzle that is your life? Grow up! What we're gonna do is just collect a sample of your semen. You'll go into the room over there and ejaculate into this cup. Just leave it on the counter when you're done. That's it? No, uh, dinner and a movie? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Well, something sexy? A little direction could help. I can't just act sexy on demand. I'm a little out of practice at this, okay? It's not every day I have a sexual fantasy about my wife. Thanks. Well, you know, I usually have the real thing. Could you maybe just uh -huh. dance around, do some sort of striptease? Okay. Hey, guys. What's going on? What is she doing here? Looking good, Jules. I don't know. What are you doing here? Well, it's your fantasy. You must have invited her. Hello. Hell no! Fuck. Go a minute. Yeah, come in. I'm um, actually I'm really glad you're here because I, I need your opinion on this, okay? Sit down. Okay. Uh close your eyes. Okay. Close them. Now open. What's the first thing that comes into your head? No brown guy. Come on, come on, without thinking. It's supposed to represent the moment that you realize that you've fallen in love. Not falling in love or being in love, but the moment when you say, I'm in love. Did you get that at all? I just talked to Alex. Yeah? Do you tell you the news? <laughs> well, I place you a little bit further on this side of Sane. What are you talking about? I think it's great. Well, I don't. Seems to me like some people in this band are ready to just throw the whole thing in the fucking trash. Zeke, we're not throwing anything in the trash. We're gonna keep doing what we've always done. Oh yeah, how's that work? Playing second fiddle to some screaming brat. What is wrong with you? Oh yeah, and, and of all the wankers in the world, can you pick someone better to do this with than him? I don't know why you care who I do it with. I don't care, as long as it's not the fucking lead singer of the band. Look, just... Calm down, okay? Calm down. All right? I have a really, really good feeling about this global guy, okay? And if you guys get signed, it's just a matter of time before you have the talk. What talk? That it's time to dump the manager talk. Come on, babe, isn't that industry standard? Bollocks! You know we'd never do that to you. It's not even a point. The point is, is that you're compromising your ability to manage this band effectively. I think you're wrong. I don't see it. The whole falling in love thing.
Hello. You did it. Yes, I did it. You were spectacular. You don't remember? So just like that, huh? No, not just like that. I, I've been taking my temperature every two hours for the last week. I've been keeping an ovulation journal. Stirrups and a catheter were involved. It was... A mistake, wasn't no, it? Don't say that, okay? This is, we are blazing our own trail here. We're making this happen. You know, this is gonna be fine and great. God, do, do not worry. Okay. Do you want to talk about anything? Well, we girlfriends now. Is that it? Do you want to go to the mall? Do you want to look at some shoes? Step off, bitch. You called me. Yeah, but we're mates. We don't need to sort through all that talking crap. OK. I'm in love with her. Who? Who? Who do you think? Your mum? Claudia, you daft prick. Oh. I thought you didn't want to talk about anything. Oh, now I do. Well, shit. Yeah, you know, two rocks and a bull's cock, all right? This is information I could have used before now. Informa- I was gonna fucking tell you at a record store, but you'd already gone off and pulled the world's greatest cock block without even filling me in. Filling you in? Filling? You little selfish prick, huh? Nice skirt, Claudia. Best manager ever. Didn't like that bloke he was with. How long have you had these feelings? How long has this been going on? Nothing's going on. That's my fucking point. Thanks to you, probably never will. Oh, how... British. I was actually going to go through with all this, then. It's already gone through with today. Nature's taking its course, buddy. The hell do you want me to do about it? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. <laughs> Set me on fire. Burn the original I know you were the one who arrested the 
Out of groupies, something like that. Mm-hmm. Zeke. Hello, <laughs> darling. I love you. I heard you came crawling back into town. Oh, yes. Yeah, you got any shows coming up? I'm playing tonight. The Caucus. Come on. Oh, come on. I'd love to, but I've got this label rep thing. I, I can't leave. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Will you call me later? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You call me, all right? <laughs> Babe! Ow. Oh my god, you were so on fire tonight, it was amazing! He's here somewhere, he's Did we it. rock or did we fucking did rock? Did you fucking rock or what? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Guys, this is Rudolph. Fantastic show, great show. Thank Rudolph, you. Uh, Alex, Zeke. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Tools high. Hi. How are you? So, buddy, I, I think you sold your soul to the devil. I heard probably four good, solid, bona fide hits tonight. And the stuff in between is good, too. But here's the thing, okay? The way you guys work the crowd, I really think you ought to have them out on the road. That's gonna be the shit that That's sells That's fucking you. great, man. So, I don't know what's gonna happen with the suits, but I, I'm on board. I, I think we should move forward with it. Hey, Rudolph, you just light the way, we'll follow. I'm gonna go find Blitzen. Uh -huh. What Alex means to say is, um, we would really love to get together and discuss this further. Yeah, okay. Well, he's a handful. That's, yeah. uh, that's all right, though. Listen, how about if you stop by the hotel later tonight, we'll have a drink, and, uh, we'll get started. Sounds good. Okay. It's nice to see you. Too. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Yes! Oh, my God! <laughs> this is huge. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm having a fucking mood. I told you so. Yeah, I got a So, what else did Rude have to say? Well, nothing. I mean, nothing yet. But, um, I, uh, I have some other news. <laughs> um, I went to the doctor, and, um, it's official. Somebody's having a baby! <laughs> Oh my god! Congratulations! Yeah! Insane! No applause. Thank you! Yeah. That was one try! Yeah, yeah one it. shot! <laughs> wow! <sighs> Thank you. I, I, I think a toast is in order. Here, here. A very big toast to becoming extremely decadently fabulous rock stars. Hell yeah! Who on occasion change poopy diapers. <laughs> oh. Here, here. 
Your choice is yours. Drink up. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Uh, maybe that's not such a good idea in light of recent development. Oh, shit, you're right. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Well, forget it. I'll just, um, I'll just go a little octane tonight. Well, I'm not pregnant, so. <laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> Is there something from the kitchen? I don't know what we have. But... Yes, mother. Mm-hmm. Okay. Guys, I think we really impressed him tonight. I think this is it. Yeah. World tour with a newborn, that's going to be, um, really interesting. Whoa, hey, hey. No, we, we don't know what's going to happen yet. Come on, let's sit down. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. This could be big, you know. They may want you to cut in New York or L.A., not to mention touring. And? And a newborn on tour? Ozzy brought all of his kids on tour with him. Yeah, and look how they turned out. We will figure something out. We'll figure something out? Yeah. Alex, no, listen. This is serious. We really need oh to God. think about this. Is smoke coming out of my ears? Alex? These wheels ah! are turning! Yeah, no, please, let me down! Ah! You're not here to keep me warm. No, Freddy, I hit you with a fingernail. Gone to the bookstore with Claude. Soup's in the fridge. Be home soon. Lovely. I feel like I just became a character in an episode of Neighbors or something. What are you gonna do? Oh, are you sure you want my advice? No, I'm not sure. But you know Alex even better than I do. And Claudia. And I'm lost. Well, there's no way around it. You gotta tell him. He can't. It's not a matter of can or can. It's your bleeding husband. He's got a right to know. It's gonna break his heart. I don't know, love. It's a tough one. Maybe you should talk to someone who's not such an asshole about this. And that's not me. That's true. Mm -hmm. Seriously. 
good at telling. Uh, all right, all right. Here's the deal. I'll tell Alex if you tell Claudia you're in love with her. Do <laughs> what? You heard me. I had a bunch of fun and nonsense. Those hormones getting you all wound up already. Oh, very funny. Mm. What's this? It's uh, something I've been working on. I get to hear them. I can't believe you've been fucking holding out on us, Zeke. Jules. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Thought you were gonna stay home from work yesterday. It's nothing, it's just a stomach flu. Yeah, you need to take a few days off. Hey, do you wanna uh, meet me for lunch today? I can't. Got a doctor's appointment with Claude. Really? Look, we will go out to dinner tonight. Guess I better get used to this, huh? Look, it's a doctor's appointment, okay? It's not like... I just want to make sure I'm there for her, you know, through all of this. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand. Um, I gotta go. Come on, baby, you know you like it. <laughs> Not as much as you're gonna like it when I stub this spliff out of your fucking <laughs> stack. Think that's funny, do you? Oh, come on, mate, go put on some fucking trousers. Come on. What, are you gonna tell me you're in love with me now, too? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> you know that shit's bad for your sperm count, don't you? Hey, my boys have already accomplished their mission. Oh, yeah, well, they... They sure did accomplish a mission. What the fuck does that mean? 
Oh, nothing. Uh, I've been working on some new songs, man. Go, cool, love to hear them. Oh. It's not really, uh, it's not really like that. What's it like? It's like bollocks. And those are fucking out of like, Jules! Please come in here and give this prick some trousers, will you? Fucking hell, can it? to make a record and right this minute they're looking for a major band for you to tour with fuck it hell if you're joking i'm bludgeoning you to death with that ashtray i'm joking Right. Hey, Alex, talk to me. Is it hot in here? No. I'm sweating. I think I need to get uh, some fresh air. Nothing, I'm just gonna go outside. Okay. What about our appointment? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I... Yeah, everything's just. Alex, look at me. I'm having this baby, okay? I was planning on doing this on my own, but now you're in it, okay? So, I don't know. If we need to talk about something or work through this, let's do it, because this baby's coming. Everything is fine. Fucking time. You're smashed. No, I'm all right. All right, you can't even stand up straight. Get together. Come on. I'm over my head. Oh, you don't know the half of it. I fucked this up, didn't I? Probably, but we'll deal with that. Now, come on. Let's go. Stop fucking about. What's the thing, mate? This little plan of yours was gonna go off without a hitch. I'm gonna, I'll call everything off. That's what you want. Oh, you don't get it, do you? A baby, mate. It's not something you can turn on and off like a fucking light bulb. Fuck. Fine. You don't want it? I'll take it. 
At least then I'd have a chance with Claudia, right? <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing at? You, Dad, that's good, man. Just get your shit together. Get out there on that fucking stage. Now, We're on now. Go, you know that. Oh, man, we are! Your immature bullshit is getting very old. Non-stop, fucking yap, 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 up to here with it. You're a big talker. But you never get to the fucking point. Now, why don't you tell me what's on your mind, Zeke? I've got a lot on my fucking mind, but none of it you want to hear. Come on, let's do it. No. Oh. Never ends with you, does it? Me, 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 all the fucking time. Come on, let's go. Oh, what's your fucking... God, you're perfect. You know, you always got some way to criticize me. Don't take another step closer, mate. I'm gonna fucking pop you. Made me bleed, man. Unfortunately, Ali's seen as a bit of an arsehole. So, I'm gonna play you some of my new stuff. <laughs> Park with the baby and the germaphobe husband. <laughs> so, how come you're an asshole? There's a lot of reasons why. You don't seem like one to me. Yeah, well, I am one. <laughs> <laughs> Want to talk? Not really. Want to do something else? No, I... Where's your husband? Out of town. Business. Baby? With my mom. What happened? That's a long story. Oh. You should not be driving. You're probably right. Well, come do something with me until you sober up. Um, Ricky, I'm really sorry, but I got to go. It's Ruthie, and I'm not letting you drive. It wouldn't be right. You know, I just picked up those keys off the dirty pavement and then touched your hand. I bet you don't even care. Yeah, actually, I do. I care a lot. Uh, in fact, I think I should go wash my hands with that antibacterial soap right now. Wait. Oh, shit. You look really cute tonight. How about that coffee, Rocky? It's Ruthie. I... Oh, I, you're so hot. I've got an incredible wife, and I can't yeah. do this. Yeah. I yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Oh, my God. Are you his wife? Nope. But I am carrying his baby, which I think more than justifies kicking your ass. Come on. Thank God. 
Alex can't play anymore tonight. Very cute, Alex. I love you, Mitch. Try to take one night off and you gotta pull some shit like this. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Uh-huh. I am an asshole. Yes, you are. Claude, you know, I love you, right? Yes, I do. Seriously. I hope you know. I really love you. I know. I love you too. Okay, okay. Seriously. Hi. You got a little toasty tonight. I see that. But I found him like this before he could get into too much trouble. Is that right? Yeah. I better go. Oh my god. Um, hey, hey, can you help me? Gonna feel good in the morning. <laughs> uh, you in a hurry? You have a minute? Yeah, sure. Come here. him with anybody else. And why are you trying to take him from me? Sweetie, you... Yeah? You don't really see it that way, do you? Shouldn't I? No. You're sure? Listen, I should probably be going. Um, call me if you need to talk or anything. Okay. So. Nothing. It's definitely something, because when you say nothing, it is something. Have you thought about the contract? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Uh, the fucking contract. Yes, I want to take it, but... What about this baby? What about it? 
You tell me. What, what, what are, you, are you fishing for here? I don't know. Maybe some rational plan of action. Is this an I told you so thing? Yeah. Yes, it is. Because you told me you needed a baby, and I'm looking at you, and I don't see it. And I think that if you could take it all back, you would. Okay, fine. I, it was a fucking mistake, okay? I mean, is, is that what you want to hear? Yes. Why? Because I am tired of being the only grown-up in this relationship. Here I go, here I go, spiraling down. It's a pleasure to be at its mercy. Automatic pilot leads me away underground where my conscience deserts me. If I could only keep from looking back, if I could only. Hello. Hey, Jules. What's going on? It's open! Hi. Hi. Alex, we need to talk. Okay. About last night. If it's about that girl. You know, Alex, I will do many things for you, okay? I will... I will be your friend, and I will have your baby, and I will make excuses for you when you're late for gigs, but do not expect me to cover for you and your little floozies. I don't know what was going on in that car last night, but it was ugly. Jules does not deserve that. I wasn't... Nothing happened, yeah. right? That, that woman was like an animal, okay? I tried to throw her off for me. It wasn't what it looked like. Okay. Do you say so? I do say so. Okay. You know, fuck. The, the shit just never stops, you know? Just... Shit, my car's downtown. Hey, hi, how, uh, how you guys doing? What the hell are you doing out here in your shorts? Well, that is a uh, fascinating and arcane story there, Mr. Sappington, and if you just give me a ride downtown, I'd be happy to share the whole thing with you. Wait, I've got it. It's some radical new treatment for your condition. What? what? What's it called, hon? Varicocele. Yes. How did you guys know about that? Hey, we're your neighbors. We hear things. Whatever it takes to keep them cool. Catch you on the flip side. Come on, Brutus. Come on, sweet dog. Okay. So, no ride then? I'm turning into you. Nothing's left here. Yesterday. You sure about this? It's not too late to change your mind, you know. Thank you, Zeke. Oh, I didn't have anything better to do today, anyway. Come on, let's go.
still considering the offer. Uh, uh, yeah, we should have an answer really soon. Mm hmm Yeah, talk to you then. Hey, hon, it's me. Uh, just want to see what you were doing for lunch today. Thought maybe you and I could get together. Call me. Yeah, hi, it's Julian. The whole day. Uh, do you have any idea where she went? Okay, thanks. Hello? Yeah, hello, mate. I'm doing all right. How are you? No. No, I haven't seen her. Yeah, all right. I will. All right. Yeah? Zeke. Um, Kay. What's wrong? I, uh... I don't know, I, I'm just kind of emotional right now and I, gonna, I'm i kind of losing it. I I was hoping that maybe you, you could come over because I really, really need to talk to somebody. Well, I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Uh, okay, well, forget it. Hang on. Yeah, all right, I'll be right there. or a joint or a fucking beer and I I can't because I'm, I'm fucking pregnant. That's it. That's what you called me over for. I screwed up, Zeke. I screwed up everything. My life, the baby, the band. Alex can't even look me in the eye anymore. Jules's life didn't even think about that. I don't know why I always think that things will just work out because when... I love you. What? That's right. Everything about you. Your sickening optimism. Your blinding persistence. Your mixed match clothing. Even that ridiculous artwork. You didn't screw anything up. Nothing. You're gonna have this baby, and you're gonna be the most beautiful mother ever. Even if it's someone else's, I don't care. Even Alex. And I don't care where it goes from now. But I know that I can't stand coming over here one more time. Not letting you know how I feel about you. Let's get one thing straight, all right? This whole thing has been my fault, right? You, you know what I am? You know what I know? I'm a pillock. That's what I am. Fucking pillock. What's a pillock? I should have been there for you, and I wasn't. And I'm sorry. I should have told you. Look, that doesn't matter. Yes, it does. If we can't talk about this, then I don't know what we're doing. Uh. Think of this. 
پیدا می کنیم thing that matters is that you're okay. We are okay. Welcome to Austin City Limits, everybody. How y'all doing now? All right. Good to see y'all out there. Right. Let me say this is a big night, not only for Austin City Limits, but for this guy. He's been paying his dues and playing his music in this town for the last 15 years, and tonight's the payoff. You know you got to be good if you're going to make it to the stage. Let's have a big Austin City Limits welcome for the Alex Hayes Band. Thank you. Thanks. Something just does not seem right. But I think it can be rectified fairly easily. Is there a Zeke Scott in the house? Anywhere? Zeke? Oh! You think maybe we can uh, coax Mr. Scott to the stage? Huh? Is that going to be possible? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Zeke, come on, get your ass up here. Let's go. Check it out. She takes after her biological father. You cheeky cunt. Zeke Scott, ladies and gentlemen. You see Zeke and his band, Star 327, at Emo's every Thursday night. And rumor has it there's an album on the way, so look for it. Kick it, Zeke. <laughs> 